You gotta care. Oh, that I guess. That sounds like when you wear a suit, you roll around and like you got a bow tie, big chains and shit. Do I need a grill? <laughs> yeah. That'd be pretty rad if you brought that back. Like, well, uh, you're you're blowing. Yeah. You're blowing. All right. Let's do some like snowboard talk. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Welcome to the Tribute Lounge. I'm Mark Fawcett. And I'm Shane Johnson. And today we're going to be chatting about the Cardiff Crane. <laughs> Whoopa! That's once you crane me in the head. Yeah. All right, so this is, this is an exciting, exciting brand that we've now brought to the shop. If anybody knows, Bjorn Linus was my favorite forum rider. And he's moved, moved back down to Utah, the Wasatch Mountains. Did he ever leave Utah? I don't know. Okay, anyway, yeah. he's there still. Maybe Bjorn message us below, let us, you know, anyway. But uh, this brand is awesome. The boys came up, actually did a couple in-store demos with us this last year. Brought us split boards, which we've all been loving. And then this model, the Crane, has been a absolute shop favorite. This guy's been on it a hell of a lot more than I have, so we can get, uh, get into this deep. But one of my favorite things, you know, and you can see right here, this board comes with, and we want you to see, because it doesn't look too glossy right now, there's 3M across this whole top sheet, and you can see here, this is cool, and this is an added feature for transportation, for longevity of this gorgeous top sheet that's under this thing, but just so you're aware, it looks a little muted because we've left the 3M on, obviously, as this is a board to be sold upstairs. And it's, well, for shipping, it's great, because oh, we yeah. do get boards sometimes when they're all stacked together, even though they try, they get a little banged up. So for shipping, it's cool. And then just the consumer, leave it on for a while. Yeah, leave it you on could for the first pop these 10 holes days, out, put your bindings on. Right on and, top yeah. of it. A lot of people put this on the day they buy a new board anyway. So kind I of thought a cool it was little, really really cool. Cool little feature yeah. if we start from that top down. Another thing is uh, this is a show topper. Uh, I think it's proprietary uh, top sheet. So it's a semi-transparent top sheet, and they're able to like they're able to screen it. Um, so you have really cool graphics, but you can see all the way through to the wood core and the, the vertical laminates, the way they have them stacked up in there. Yeah, and hopefully you can catch some of that with the different species of wood you can see throughout there. Which is mostly poplar and uh, polona. Polo, polo, polonia. Polonia? Polonia? Polonia. Apollonia, remember no. her from uh, Purple Rain? Oh, yeah, yes. <laughs> Maybe they need the tree after. Oh, yeah, there we go. Sort of. Yeah. Anyway. Um, uh, and then using harder and softer woods is a really common through the entire uh, industry. Uh, poplar right up against the sidewalls, so the harder wood right up against the sidewalls. And the thing that I Keep love about stable. this, urethane sidewalls. So yes, mm -hmm. the same urethane that you use in your skateboard wheels, it's seamless all the way around, so there's no, there's no uh, spot where two pieces of ABS meet. So it's a seamless sidewall of urethane. Um, pro it's one of the coolest characteristics of this board oh, for yeah. me. Build was quality, how it, man. Well, build quality, build but quality. how it feels underfoot. Oh, um, yeah. So I yeah. got to ride it once. Um, actually, it was a, a, different, um, a different model, but in some really hard snow. And I loved And that was the Pagoda? The, the Pagoda. And I yep. loved how it felt. Um, incredible feel with that uh, urethane sidewall. And that's the way they have their wood cores stacked up. Also between in between um, several layers of the of the laminate, they put carbon vertically. Very so cool. that's a, yep. like a whole lot more structure to a vertical, even though it's you know thin uh, piece of carbon than when you run mm -hmm. it uh, planar. Makes it a lot stronger too. Yeah, and another unique thing with these, well not fully unique, but radial side cuts, radical radial side cuts as they called it, but it does have these subtle little speed bumps. Bjorn's and they're called, they call it. them speed bumps. Yep, little, little guys. And it's, There's we two. barely saw it There's at first, but yeah, right there. I actually didn't know they were in there. And your binding pressure, it's, it's perfect for where you're pressuring the board and where you're getting on edge and where you need that bite. You know, that's yeah. exactly where that has to live. Subtle enough though that you'll never experience any drag or any, I, anything like that. I would that. say they're probably 
the most subtle in the industry. Yeah. And we I, know other companies that do them like, they're pretty radical. Oh yeah. And they work and there's a purpose behind them, but like super, super subtle. Uh, again, to the point, I didn't know they were in there until I started monkeying around with the board in here with the lights. Mm -hmm. um, really cool. But effective, of yep. course. On to the base, too. This was a big topic with all of us in the shop, is just how damn fast these boards were. We could not, and we, you know, we were trying to deep dive on the base and figure out well, what it is, but it's a sintered, I mean, I always say the black base is it's always graphite, the fastest. It's a graphite so sintered be, yes. race base. Yeah. So there's really two, there's two companies on the planet that make the plastic or the P-Tex. P-Tex is actually a brand name. Mm -hmm. So there's two yeah. companies that everyone gets their uh, bases from worldwide and it's essentially the same stuff. But for like those high-end race boards and such, whether that's Alpine or Snowboard Cross, mm -hmm. what have you, this is what they're using. Oh yeah, no, and, it's... Uh, and on those like crazy expensive like custom Kesslers and things, this is all they use. Um, and we'll probably, you'll see some videos of us in there. We did a little, we did a little glide test with my, uh, our cameraman and myself, and he was on, I won't say what brand, but known to be a very a fast base. Fast yep, base. Absolutely. Um, uh, and, and his board was waxed, prepped, everything. And it was like, no contest, like I was gone. And I could just feel it all the time, every day that I was on this board, that I was just nuking past everyone on the cat tracks. And, oh yeah, And absolutely. cat tracks in particular, just gone, see ya. Well, and a couple of our guys raced on this at Turning Man as well. And Tyler was ripping around on this base too. You know, it's, there is a nice structure to it. It's not aggressive, but they have spent the time. It has been structured and like I always say, black bases are always going to be the fastest. It's just how it is. Um, another neat feature, again, super subtle, is this has what's called Pivot Tech 3.0. So it's their version of um, mustache camber. I don't know what you'd want to call yeah, it. But essentially, some, yeah. um, also they have the other tech is called half camber. That relates to the fact that 63% yeah, roughly like, is yeah, camber. There, there's, there's only X amount of camber in it and everything else is- Flattens and then rockers. Flattens and yeah. rocker. Yeah. But within this camber, it does come down just a little bit in the middle. Most companies, when it comes down, it comes down to touch. Theirs, it's still a little bit off, which I really like. So it does hump up a little bit in uh, under the feet yeah, yeah. and then come in in the middle. And what this really gave me in combination with the overall flex of the board, I could really pedal and maneuver this board around the middle so easily. I could do everything just with my feet. I didn't have to do these big committed moves, which the board handled if I wanted to, mm -hmm. but I could like really manipulate the board around with my feet super, super well. Um, honestly, when I hand flexed this thing, I was like, maybe it's gonna be too soft for me, but everyone, no, everyone else, all the other shop riders are like, no man, go. Yeah. And, uh, and I could go, it was, it was great. No, they're awesome. They come in a multitude of sizes and the, this also comes in a split. So the sizes we'll have above us here, but I know it starts in the 40s and goes 46, all the way to 46 to 62 yeah. in yeah. pretty much four centimeters. Yeah. So 46, 50, 54, 56, 58, 62. That's what it comes in. Perfect. Um, this, the 58, this is what this is, and this is the one that I rode. 26 to waist width. Bang on. Yeah, no, that's Good perfect. job, guys. Yeah. I love it. That's perfect. None of this like 25.4 crap for like mutant humans that have <laughs> tiny, tiny hey, feet hey, for hey. their size. No, no, no. There's, there's, anyway, there's still lots of 20, that out there. Tw there's tons of that out there. <laughs> Too much of it. This is this is built, I think, spec. Fawcett likes wide boards. We know this. 26.2 is not wide. That's the narrowest I go, is, yeah, yeah. is 26.2. So my last custom bank slalom board, I built 26.2 at the waist. So That's I loved, nice. dimensionally, this board was spot on for me. Perfect. Okay, so like I said, they, they come in splits as well, and just look forward to more... Two constructions oh, yeah, within the splits. Oh yeah, two constructions as well, yeah. So the, uh, they have a Pro Carbon, mm -hmm. and Your stiffer a, versions, an enduro. obviously. Enduro, yep. which is, I guess, your, you know, sort of more standard, probably double triax, and then Pro Carbon, which would have a much you know, more uh, top and bottom carbon versus just the vertical carbon, which is in there now, which is pretty amazing. Um, value is great on these as well, mm -hmm. like for no, what absolutely. you're getting with that like race base. This thing is loaded with like vertical carbon is to put that in those cores is really tricky. Um, 
Yeah, oh, like one thing I would say, it's, uh, this is a twin. Well, free ride it's twin, it's a free ride it's twin. setback. It's a free, free, it's setback and it has two and a half millimeters uh, of taper, taper. which yep. is like and a little really winger, small amount. winger tail here too to tail, settle, tail the, went in settle great. down. I had yeah. some beautiful pow turns on yeah. this thing. I did ride it back foot all the way back. It's kind of my MO too, like I like having it back there, but I rode that 23 inches, had me at uh, all the way back and second from the front, and I actually slid the binding back a little bit to get my like 22 and three quarters. But um, I think depending on what you want, it's available there stance wise. Mm -hmm. So yeah, like I say, all these models come in a split or in a standard snowboard. Um, multiple widths and everything, the construction being the two versions we talked about, the Enduro and the Pro Carbon, that's also in the splits as well. So you can find your exact ride with these guys. Part of Snowcraft is really, the attention to detail is here. And going forward, we'll be stocking them. There's, uh, you know, there's a few shops in Canada carrying these already, and, and we're definitely gonna up, up our game so you'll be able to find them online. We'll also have at least four more reviews coming. Yeah, yeah. There's the Pagoda split you guys all got on. Yeah, yep. and the Pagoda itself. And then I think we're gonna get one of the gals out on the links soon here too. So uh, yeah, no, it's uh, again, really excited to be carrying this. Stoked to be supporting guys like Bjorn who, you know, Fozzie's known Bjorn since he yeah, was, he was like a little, 14. We, went, we were Hellion and he was uh, maybe a little <laughs> older. He was like 16 years old, yeah. he and his little brother. Oh, that's was pretty, awesome. pretty rad, so yeah. So yeah, guys, keep an eye out for this stuff. And uh, again, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon.